So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warmind's Avatar set. This is the seasonal activity for Season of the Seraph. And I have a few things to explain before I actually get started with the video. So if you guys want to just get into the video and just see the fashion or the review more so, then I'll have uh, the the timestamps or whatever. They're going to be in the description, so you can just check them out right there. But first and foremost, we're going to be changing a few things. Not the review system. Uh, we're still going to be reviewing the armor set, how it shaders. Uh, my thoughts on it and that's it there's no there's not going to be a like a fashion bit for it because i will be making individual videos for that which is the change so how it used to be is i would take pieces from individual classes and make a whole set with that so for example i would make like i would take the boots and make a whole fashion around that uh chess piece make a whole fashion around that the thing that I'm changing now is I'm going to be combining the helmet and the cloak or specifically the class item. So that way the warlocks can have a, a much bigger chance. So for example, if I want to make like a class item video, then I'll also include the helmet for the warlocks because to be fair, you can't really make a really cool fashion with your bond because most of the time your bond is not like the pinnacle thing that everyone's going to look at. So again that's not the case for some but that is the case for almost all of the armor pieces so this is more so just to help out warlocks so that way you can have a little bit more variety or so that way you can use more of that piece so for example uh you you could probably expect like a boots video a chess video an arms video and for the last one it would be a helmet slash cl uh class item video so just to help out the warlocks more so because again i do want to make a class item video for the cowboy armor but i did decide to add a little bit more for the warlocks because again class item is very hard to just pinpoint one fashion sense because the bond's not the main centerpiece most of the time so warlocks let me know what you guys think do you guys want me to do this or do you just want you just want to be the same as the other classes i want to do this just to help you guys out a little more but i would understand if you're just like no nah, just do it with the bond it doesn't matter because personally like the war minds avatar set bond is just kind of like eh, like it, it looks fine but yeah let me know what you guys think uh other than that i got all the armor thank god uh my luck was pretty shite until i went to my warlock and at the last possible drop that i could have done before i had to farm for more uh currency it dropped thankfully so let's just let's just look into the armor let me know what you guys think do you guys like this idea let me know in the comments below but you you should be expecting some videos some individual pieces videos for this set because i do think a lot of these pieces are really cool so if you guys want to see a certain piece that i might not do or you just want to see like oh maybe can you use can you use the boots can you use the chest piece can you use the helmets let me know in the comments below I'll get started on it but if I'm being honest, I think the chest piece and the boots are probably going to be the pieces that I'm going to use. And I am kind of leaning towards the helmet. So let me know what you guys think. So for the armor itself, I actually am a big fan of it, surprisingly. And I say surprisingly because there is a pretty big negative for me. And it's, it's not what you think. Because for me personally, I thought the yellow lining was not going to change color. Thankfully, it actually does change color. The unfortunate part is you see that Warmind insignia, that's unfortunately not shaderable. So you will have to shader around that or you can just ignore it like I do. Either way, it's really unfortunate because this armor set is really cool. It's I'm going to be real with you guys. The white Warmind insignia actually does bother me more than it should. But at the end of the day, I don't really like I want to not care. But at the same time, I do care. But if you guys are curious, there are two on the arms for i think all the classes aside from maybe the warlock and the boots also have some on the knees for the hunter the bottom thighs for the titans and then the shins for the warlocks and then for the chest piece i don't see any on for me personally but other than that that's pretty much it uh not gonna lie to you guys i think the cloth in this armor set looks pretty rough specifically the class item stuff and the chest piece for the warlocks either way i'm like I see pieces of these and I'm like, I can use some of these pieces for sure. But some of these other pieces I definitely can't use. Like, for example, I think the arms on all of them are pretty terrible. The chest pieces are actually pretty viable, uh, especially for like uh, some warm mind inspired stuff. 
The boots are hit or miss. I think the tight or I think the hunters have the worst boots, but the other two have really cool boots. And I think the hunters have the coolest helmet while the Titan also has coolest helmet or a cool helmet. I don't think it's as cool as the hunter. And then the warlock is kind of like the most boring one for me. And then for class items, I think all of them are pretty bad with the Titans probably be the one that's the most usable. The hunters just looks terrible outright. I'm going to be real. It's the, it's the, it's the shape of the cloak that kind of bugs me. And the class item for the warlocks just kind of boring to me. So a lot of these pieces are going to be very usable for sets that I'm thinking of, like specifically war mine pieces. But other than that, I, I don't know how I feel about this armor. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As for how it shaders again, it shaders pretty well. Uh, you guys are seeing Echo Dango currently, and you guys will notice that it is actually taking the off color of cloth armor for the Echo Dango, which is brown, uh, specifically for the hunters and the warlocks a lot for those two not so much for the titans the only piece you see the brown is like on the crotch for the for the boots other than that you really don't see it which is kind of fortunate for the titans because i personally think it's really gross but now that i actually look at it it actually might be connected to the actual bond or mark itself but i also think it might just be the boots itself either way it's unfortunate, but it's also fortunate because it's not as much as the Titans or the, or it's not as much as the Warlock or the Hunter with the, I, I want to say the, I, I want to say both of them are pretty egregious with it. With Echoed Anger, I don't think it looks really good. But then we, when we switch to like Abyssinian Gold, for example, then we can actually see that the color is actually even weirder because it's also like a lighter brown or kind of like a more desaturated brown than previous. Which is really weird because Abyssinian Gold's off color is actually black, specifically for cloth. So it is weird that it's taking this color because, again, like I said, it should be just black. So unfortunate, you're going to have to shade her around some of these pieces. Now that I look at the arms, I'm like, this. the arms don't have brown, at least for the Hunter, the Warlocks don't either. So I'm like, maybe the arms are the better choice because at least they don't have this weird brown color for the boots, which does change color it's not just like it's always going to be a brown no it actually does change color it's just that you have to find the shader that changes the color which is very unfortunate so i will most likely be doing a helmet video a chest video and a boot video because just from what i'm seeing i'm just like i don't i don't like the class item which i'm not making a class item video and the arms i'm kind of like either or specifically for the hunter i'm like either or the Titans, I'm not a fan at all. Like, I don't like it at all. And then for the Warlocks, the arms are just kind of like, meh. Like, I could definitely use it. I could definitely use it with certain pieces. But it's not the piece. Like, the arms are not the pieces that I immediately saw. I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to make a video on that. It was it was everything else but that, aside from the class item, like I said. So these actually shade are pretty decent compared to, like, other Warmind stuff. Because most of the time, the Warmind stuff that we've gotten in the past specifically the Warmind DLC armor and the uh, Season of the Worthy armor. Both of them had armor that there's pieces that you can't, that were unshaderable. Specifically, the Titans had that really cool uh, Mars armor that had bits of yellow in there. Uh, the other two didn't have that, fortunately. Unfortunately, because the Titans, I think, had the best armor from Mars. Uh, for Season of the Worthy, the Seasonal ar armor and the Activity armor, the seasonal armor and the seasonal ornament armor also had pieces that were unshaderable. So I am thankful that we have pieces that actually do change colors, but at the same time, it also doesn't change colors, specifically the Warmind insignias, which is very annoying. So, I mean, we'll, we, we take wins. We, we take as much wins as we can, but it's just unfortunate. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to ramble too much because in the end of the day, uh, you're going to pick your favorites and use whatever you want. Personally, like I said, I already have some videos, video ideas in my head. And hopefully I can get the cowboy armor soon because I also want to make videos on that because I think a lot of the cowboy armor is super fucking cool. And I just can't wait to make that video. We're going to be reviewing that one as well and also making individual pieces for that. And for that one specifically, we will be making a class item video, which just expect the helmet. Uh, we're not going to make a helmet video, although I might combine the class item with the helmet for the Titans as well. 
because I don't really care for the helmet in the hunter's case. I'm not saying it's bad. I actually really, really like it. But in that case, I don't really have to do it because I already have a set in mind. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, if you guys want to see an individual piece, like specifically like boots, a boot video, an arm video, a chest piece video, let me know in the comments below. I'll get started on it. But like I said, from what I'm seeing, I think expect a helmet video, a chest piece video, and a boots video. Other than that, that's all I'm going to do. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, links are in the description below. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later.